Uh, we played solid basketball and missed some easy shots tonight. Cornell made a lot of threes, so it kept the game a little closer than we uh, uh, wanted to, but give them credit. They, they made their shots, and, and we missed a lot of easy ones, so uh, that's what happens. Uh, but, but our guys shared the basketball, had 17 assists with only seven turnovers. And other than missing some easy shots, uh, I thought we played pretty well. Well, they, they, uh, their game plan was to shoot the three. They shot 33s and made 12. So they, they uh, banked one or two in, got some rolls, and they made some clean looks. So give them credit. They, uh, they had a game plan, and three guys uh, made four each. Uh, so that's how they stayed in the game the three, uh, with the three-point line. Now, we're leading the league in steals. I think we're top 15 in the nation in block shots. Uh, so we're figuring out. Uh, we're also uh, leading the league in, in uh, the least amount of turnovers per game. So we're trying to get extra possessions. Because we're so young, uh, and we're, we're, we're a little streaky at times offensively. Uh, so we need all those extra possessions we can get with, with six new players and four freshmen. So we're a little streaky, especially without boat right. Uh, so you even saw it tonight. There were times we played extremely well, and other times we, we just uh, were just streaky. Uh, made some mistakes, missed some easy shots. and uh, So uh, that's a big part of our uh, uh, team this year with, with those extra possessions. And we have long arms, and we're athletic. and. Uh, and it certainly helps. Coming off of you guys, you're down 16 and 6. Do you, and this is a question, do you sometimes feel like you have to call less time off, more time off the same team now and trying to some kind of figure out? Or how do you kind of coach your guys like that? Well, we've been down, I think, five or six games by nine or ten points. And sometimes more than that, we've come back and won every game. So it says a little bit about our team. We just have to keep playing. We're, we're about, we have a long way to go. We have to get better. Uh, we're 11 and 0. Honestly, I have no idea how we're 11 and 0, uh, <laughs> but we are. Uh, that, that means our players have worked hard. They, they play together, uh, and I'm, we're extremely proud of them because uh, with, with when you're mixing uh, so many new guys into a, a, a system, they have to learn that. And then Charles Bugs has been injured like three or four different times, so he actually he played very well tonight, starting to get his athleticism back. He's for the most part, injury-free. Uh, and then our other uh, uh, new players are, are, are getting the hang of it. So, But we're still streaky. We're streaky. Uh, we're very explosive at times. We're averaging 82, 83 points a game. So we can score the ball. Uh, we just need to be more consistent uh, in some of the things that uh, help you win games. Mm -hmm. What can you do to improve that stuff? Well, I could change the starting lineup. <laughs> so that's probably a coaching <laughs> error on my part. We keep getting behind early in the game, so uh, I just have to uh, either change the starting lineup or, or uh, they have to start making some more shots. Well, we have confidence in all our confidence in all our players. Uh, we we did make this. We we started Charles Bugs to start the second half tonight. That's the first time we've done that all season. You know, we we always usually start the, the starting lineup the second half, but he he played so well in the first half and was giving us great energy. Uh, and then Nick came back in and played uh, really well in the second half. So, so uh, that's the type of effort we need, whoever's coming off the bench. Uh, but we do need to – it'd be nice to get off to a quick start. Uh, th there's been many games where we're down double, double digits uh, at the six, seven-minute mark. And, uh, you know, with 14 minutes left in the first half, we're down 10. And, and it's hard to come back every game like that. Yeah, we had first media timeout. We would put D'Anthony and Jonah in for uh, Elijah and Shaquan. Uh, so when, when you're down 10, you have to try something, right? Coach, without Jimmy, uh, how important is it for Bugs to step up the way he has? I think he did tonight. Charles had gave us a great effort tonight with his energy. I think he's a very good passer. He had three assists, no turnovers, nine points, seven rebounds. Uh, one block and two steals, and, and, and so this is his best game. He's he's injury free. He's very extremely athletic, as you can tell, uh, and he's strong and he's an experienced player. So he, uh, we're thankful that he's now getting healthy. He's had three or four injuries, 
uh, and he's learning our system. It's tough when you when you play three years in another system to come in and and learn everything brand new. He's like a freshman as far as that goes. But thank goodness, you know, his, his experience level uh, gives him an advantage over the over the newcomers. And how is uh, Benny doing? Well, Benny is progressing, but when you have a partial tear of your MCL or, or a sprain, they call it, but w which is really a partial tear, uh, it heals itself. Uh, and, and the healing process is going on uh, in, in layman's terms. Uh, he's getting better every day, uh, but it, it's a process. Uh, you, when you have an MCL uh, as severe as, as what his is or was, uh, it takes time, and, and we expect him to be back, hopefully, uh, for the second part of the Pac-12 schedule. Uh, you know, it would be great to have him earlier than that, but we certainly don't want to rush him. He has to, his leg has to heal. Well, when you play someone 35 minutes or 33 minutes or whatever he played, uh, tonight he only played 28, but the last game I think he played 35 or something. You know, he goes two for 10, one for six from the three-point line. Well, that, that, that's not very good production. Uh, he's our leading scorer, 16 points a game. And so if he would have made two of his two more threes and another two, you know, now, now you have some breathing room. But when you keep missing wide open shots, that's what keeps the games close. And, and so you, we have to play better. We have to shoot the ball better. We ha we have to make a couple uh, less mistakes on defense, and, and, and then you then you play a, a complete game. Uh, that's why I said we're not perfect. We, our team is streaky, uh, but we're talented and, and we're young, and, and uh, they play well together. So uh, as, as optimistic and proud as we are of them, uh, we we know that we have a lot of work to do, and it's a long season. Well, you know, floor spacing the corner is is important. Uh, with two corners, you really can space the floor, open up the driving lines, and you have to have guys that can make that corner three. And we do. Uh, tonight they didn't make them all, but uh, uh, I think we had we had about four wide open corner threes and we missed tonight. Okay. Well, thank you. Happy holidays. And uh, I'm not sure if we'll s any of you are going to Vegas, but if so, uh, look forward to seeing you there.